right, guys, thank you for tuning in. Uh, this is Anthony with Emerging Black Network. I am here with Terica. Hello, I'm Terica with Toya Customs. All right. So we met at, uh, where was it? The at Jacksonville Christmas. Ooh. It was a Christmas event. Yeah, you were the one that was in the back, correct? Yeah, and they changed all the rotation throughout the crowd because they were supposed to enter right where we were, and then they changed it to the very front door. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I was actually um, on hand at the Jacksonville Christmas and got the chance to meet Terrica and a lot of the vendors that were there. Um, so I wanted to bring her into the studio so we can showcase some of her business, um, some of her products, and you guys can get to know her personally. All right, so tell me a little bit more about Toya Customs. All right, so Toya Customs actually evolved out of nowhere. I was actually in school at Virginia College. Don't get me started. Okay. But um, I was the original reason I was in school is because I wanted to start a nonprofit. And during that time of me thinking about starting a nonprofit, I was kind of bored at home and started sewing, playing around my sewing machine. And I noticed that it kind of kept me calm, and I just started to kind of get too many pillows. So now I was like, okay, where do they go? And as I thought about it, I was talking to a friend, and he was just like, hey, why don't you just start selling them? That way you're getting money to come in. So I was like, that's a good idea. So the actual idea and the main business of this is actually being able to get in money and also be able to provide and help out with the homeless. So uh, my saying, my quote, is one pillow makes a difference. Whenever you buy a pillow, a, pen a percentage of the proceeds actually go to the homeless. Oh, wow, wow. So that's good. That's something that we've normally, I, I mean, you know, when you get into business, you take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. So you took the liberty of taking care of somebody else as well. So I like that. I like that a lot. So tell me a little bit more about these, uh, these pillows. Now, I see my pillow, which is the, the comic book pillow, but what other, I see there's a, there's two nasty ones on the, on the table here. I guess a Gators one and a Jaguars one. So I understand that we all make mistakes. But tell me a little bit more about these pillows. All right. So this one, actually, the one that you said is your pillow. This one started, it's probably one of the first pillows I made because my son is a very, very, very big Marvel fan. So that was one of the first fabrics I brought. And Wait, who is his favorite character? Black Panther. Okay, good answer. Go yes. ahead. Yes. <laughs> But now he's trying to change into Wolverine, but he still likes Black Panther as well. But um, that's kind of where this one came from. This one was really just something I just kind of thought of, and I kind of just put it together. This one was actually a customer's, and I'm actually, <laughs> this is sad to say, I'm actually glad he didn't get it because um, he didn't purchase it just yet, but it's one of my favorite ones because these pictures are customized. I actually had to print them oh. with my printer. There's not any type of fabric that comes out with M Michael Jordan on it. So not only can it have like him on there, you can have like a family photo on there, a picture of yourself. Oh. Um, I do memory pillows as well. Okay. Um, what that is is like, a, let's say you have a shirt from an old family member that might have passed away. Mm -hmm. I can get that shirt and turn it into a pillow and put nice things on it. Um, you know, so that way you have something close and personal to hug and love on when you're oh, missing wow. that person. I did one for my great, uh, my auntie actually that passed last year at Christmas. Mm. I gave that to her daughter as a Christmas present. It was a picture um, of her mother on the front with Christmas sayings around it. Oh, wow. That's good. That's good. So I know that these are all custom and you're giving them out. What, what type of, um, when you're giving back to the proceeds, do you, are you using specific organizations or are you starting your own nonprofit or? No, this is me just actually going out and helping on my own. So as of right now, what I'm doing is um, whatever funds I get in, I try to go through it and count through it. And I put a little to the side. Um, I make survival kits. So if I see anyone on the street, I'm actually able to give them something. I have them in my car. So I'm actually able to give them something, you know, that they can have around and with them as well. Um, a lot of times I do give out a lot of money uh, to the homeless. So you'll see me stopping on the street, giving them money and things like that. I do in hopes I am planning to start my own nonprofit organization. So th some of that money goes to that as well to get me up and started so that I can do more with the community, especially here in Jacksonville with helping out with the homeless. Good, good. Because Emerging Black, we we do. I think we did our give back day, and our give back day was at the Clara White Mission. So oh, we wow. do try to give back to the community. So we'll definitely be working, reaching out to you to partner to see what else we can do as far as, uh, especially with the uh, survival kits. Because somebody else had brought that up to our attention. Mm -hmm. so I think that's a good, good concept. Uh, it looks like it was one of our hosts uh, in the back. I'm not going to say her name. <laughs> um, so what can we expect from you from 2019? 
2019, I expect to be doing a lot more with pillows, being able to expand, um, being out there, especially media wise. I was just telling you earlier, um, usually if I'm on the media, I'm just looking cute like most girls. <laughs> but now really trying to open up and speak out and be more personal on social media. That's been a thing for me. But you'll see me out there a lot more often. I want to get the word out. I really want people to join in and help me because even though you might be purchasing something, this is actually helping someone else as well. And I want to be that face to help those and see the people you know that's homeless, be able to have them have somewhere to call or someone to call if they are in need or anything. Okay. Okay. So I guess the, my next question is, so how do they reach out to you? If they want to purchase something, if they want to maybe donate, how can they reach out to you? Uh, you can actually reach out to me at toyacustoms at gmail.com. That's customs with a K. Um, I'm also on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram as well. And I do have my regular Snapchat that I promote on, but it's not really uh, connected to Toya Customs. Um, I take any type of cash. I take <laughs> card. I take cash app and Facebook as well. So. Okay. okay. Good, good. Well, listen, I'm glad that you came into the studio. Um, hopefully, we'll be doing some business with you again. I'll make sure we get some of your information so that way our listeners and our viewers should be able to be able to either to buy or acquire or learn more information about you. Guys, this is Anthony Hall. Um, you guys got a chance to get another exclusive here with Emerging Black Network. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to either me or anybody of the team um, with Emerging Black. Our website is up now. So it's www.emergeblack.com. The radio should be coming soon. That should be debuting by the end of this month. But the magazine and the studio page is up. All right. This is Anthony Hall signing off. Have a good one. Got a push your glasses here to go? Yeah. Okay. I'm just letting this out because I'm not having no bloopers of myself. No, this is me. I've been having bloopers all day. Listen, I told you I've been trying. We're going to get bloopers. Okay. All right. <laughs> good call. We <coughs> love the stars, man. Come on. Listen, don't judge me. <laughs> all right. All right, guys. Hey, thank you for turning it. <laughs> I know. I'm going to delete that. All right.